Hey, I told you I was ready to fight. I told you I was coming, and I told you I was looking better shape than he was. And um, you know, I did that tonight. So I went back and I looked at it. And I'm like, why the fuck did I drop my hand? I had both hands up. I was ready. I knew it was coming. I was ready to block the overhand. And um, I don't know if he delayed it. Even if he didn't delay, I don't know why I dropped my hand. And um, in this sport, you only take one mistake. One mistake. You know, literally one mistake. I blocked so many shots. And um, the goal this time around was to extend my punches, to work the body a little bit, to press him a little bit more, um, to be a little bit more active. I didn't want to let him get three rounds ahead and start, you know what I mean, peppering the stake and then me not returning back. You know, I thought I did a great job of returning back. And uh, I'm not done. Please do not look at me with sorrow eyes. Please do not look at me like shaking your head. I done fucked a lot of people up. A lot of people had to have that talk in the locker room. A lot of coaches had to go back to the drawing board. A lot of people in their mind, they knew that they knew that they knew. And I saw it in their face and it broke their heart when I took that from them. So um, <clears throat> at some point, we're going to have to start putting a little respect on Jake's name. You know, um, I never really disrespect him as a, as a power puncher. That's something we always knew. That's why my defense was so tight. And um, had he dropped his hand on me, it the same shit would have happened. So I can't cry with spilled milk. I'm blessed to be here. I'm blessed for an opportunity um, to come out here and fight again and show you guys that I'm fucking still here. And I told my coach.